Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add hyperlinked timestamps to the videos that you post on YouTube, and I'll explain why you might want to do this. So let's go ahead and take a look. I have this long video that I uploaded to YouTube oh, about two months ago now, a complete overview of how to share video lessons via Edpuzzle. Now the video is 17 minutes and 45 seconds long. So there's some different sections in that video that I want people to be able to jump right to. One of the ways you can do this is to right click on the video timeline wherever you've paused it. So I've paused it here at 934. I'm gonna right click on it. I'm gonna copy that video URL at the current time. Now two things will happen when I do that. That will allow me to share a link to have people start right at the 934 mark, but I can also put that link in the description of my video. So here on the editing page for my video, now that's my own video, so I can, when I'm logged into my YouTube account, I can just go in and hit the edit button. And that'll bring me to this page, and here, how to post a lesson for your students, I can include that link, and that link will appear as a hyperlink in the comments. That's one way to do it. The other way to do this is I could just simply write in 934 in that description, hit the save button, and now let's look at the new version of that video. In the new version of the video, down there in the description we see 934, can click on it, and after this ad plays, we'll be able to watch that video or jump right to that part of the video. So, I'll let that ad play, unfortunately. And now if I click that 934, it jumped right to that 934 mark in the video. So, that's how you can timestamp the videos that you post on YouTube. And it can be really handy if you've made a long video lesson and you want your students to be able to jump to a specific portion of the video, perhaps like I have here, where I've listed out the parts of the video, and now I just need to finish timestamping all of them. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.